Hello and welcome to your Uke Reading Music Challenge. We are going to review today because we are learning and absorbing so much content that I think that it's very important to review. Plus, I remember from my master's classes when we were learning about teaching, they said that we retain more information if we review. We retain up to 50% more if we review for three minutes. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. Okay, so let's start with day one. On day one, we learned that the five music lines that we read music from is called the staff. The symbol at the front of our music is called the treble clef. And whenever we have any lines separating spaces within the staff, we call those bar lines. At the end of a musical selection, we have a double bar line and that tells us that the music is over. We've been working with 4-4 time signature, which tells us to count four beats for every bar line. And we've also worked with different durations of notes. The whole note gets four beats, the half note gets two beats, the quarter note gets one beat, and the eighth note gets half a beat. But usually we'll have eighth notes together, like two of them, so half and half is one. So we don't really need to worry too much about the eighth notes. We also saw the whole rest, the half rest, the quarter rest, and the eighth rest. So we've seen lots of notes and what was a matter of what four or five days so please pat yourself in the back because you are absorbing a lot of information in addition to all of this we've also learned note names so we let's review actually so low c and then we have e f g a b c we're just missing one in there. I don't think we've done it. Maybe we have is letter D or note D, which is on the second fret of the C string. So now we have enough to do a whole scale. So make sure you get the principle so you can see the little scale practice. Scale practices are something that like every musician that has learned through like a teacher or through some kind of organized method, like scales are one of those fundamentals that we all had to really work on a lot. So I definitely recommend them. The next step now, I would say watch this video one more time so that you absorb everything that was in it because it's packed with information, but also use the printables because the printables is just one thing, like you hear it and then you see it and then you'll have it printed. And if you can make notes on the printables, even better. Like all of this, trust me, it's, it's really difficult. It's stuff that people spend weeks, months, years on and you're tackling it on YouTube on your own. So know that like this is not supposed to be easy if you find this challenging like you are right there with every other musician who has ever tackled this stuff it's it is challenging so don't worry just watch the video another time and things will start to sink in as you are more exposed to the language and it's just like a it's just like any language the more you hear it the more things stick thank you so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed this video i'll catch you in the next one ciao